All right, all right, and welcome to another episode of ARK Survival Ascended with Darby Topknot here on the ARK and ARK server. Hope you're doing great today. We have a good one for you today. You can see that we have Little Love down there looking on, and we have Benjamin the Otter Architect with us. So that means today we're going to be building. And we have the foundations laid out. We're going to build a blacksmith and a tailor and add those to the burgeoning town that we're building up here. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, everybody. So as you can see, we are building over here right at the very front of the town. And so we have the tavern back there. We have our little base here. The docks will be out there eventually. <laughs> and um, today it's about building the tailor, which we're in right now. And we did lay out the foundations just to get all the dimensions as close to right as I think we can at this point. Um, not exactly sure what it's gonna look like, but I knew that I wanted to have these stone half walls because they work so well on the other places and the blacksmith which is over here and i think that one is going to be mainly outdoors right so we have a little place in there where you'll be able to buy armor or weapons or whatever and um, then outdoors that's where the furnaces will be and everything and uh, so we'll be looking into that we do have benjamin here and the tailor, it's gonna be mainly for like cloth armor and leather and stuff like that. So, um, you know, more clothesy stuff. Let's go ahead and get right into the building. I think what we're gonna do here is take a quick look around. Um, wooden floor, mostly. We do have stone over here and we kept this all connected to the same roadways and we're going to have road going all the way through that place here where the dirt is now but we have to make a bunch more uh stuff for that so a lot more foundations and everything this is going to be the entrance of the tailor and this will be the entrance of the blacksmith and then the blacksmith will have a little place out here where they can do all of the hot work and uh, maybe that's where we should get started and laying some stuff down and i think for this we will go with stone railing and i'm not sure how far up we're going to take these probably more than just the two we'll have to see how it looks with the rest of the build but for now let's just go ahead and um, put these out here we're going to be making a lot of use of pillars and such because uh, I'd like a sloped roof on this one that, once again, doesn't completely encase the place, right? So I want it to be kind of a mainly outdoorsy thing here to make it different from the other buildings. We will need to put um, a doorway here so we can go ahead and do that right now. I think I have some... Do I have walls? Here we go. Okay, so we want to do it this way. And I think a double door is absolutely best. And then over here, we'll do the same thing, but facing this way. And you can see that we put, in these cases, the wooden finishings on the inside. And this is going to be entirely of stone. At least that's my thought right now. And this door will have a door. And I think that this will be open to the outside. And we may end up using railings and stuff on this side. We may keep it open and just have some type of framing there. So I'm not sure yet, but we'll we'll know when we get there. And then over here, this is going to be um, windows and wood, kind of like these over there. And uh, so Benjamin has kind of laid down the law that we have to um, listen to him from the very beginning and do things in the right order so that we can not spend so much time next time trying to fix little errors in the way we put things down like the pillars going in first and all of that stuff so um, yeah he'll keep us in line but um, oh while we're here I want to thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have been showing uh, with the ARC videos amazing 
Uh, we really, really appreciate it. And, you know, you guys coming in and liking and subscribing and watching it, it helps so much. And it's it's just really cool and gratifying to see. So I wanted to say thank you for that. And uh, so please, while we're here, like, subscribe, share, let everybody you know, know about this place. And um, yeah, if you have ideas of things you'd like to see us do in the future, let us know and we'll uh, take a look. So drop it in the comments. Now, I think the next piece I want to do, because we do want, and I'm not sure that three will be enough, but we do want to use windows in this build. And I'm thinking, let's go there. And let's go here. Yeah, and then we can have wall between, and we'll go outside and take a look and see what that looks like. And then maybe here so at least to start with and let me just take a look and make sure these are they're not all facing the same way so that's one thing um, when you are doing these greenhouse walls to make sure they all face the same way you can see this shape down at the bottom now matches these guys which it didn't when i first placed it and i like putting the flat piece on the outside I just think it looks better and um, the little more ornamentation looks a little bit better on the inside. We're going to want half walls to complete that look. Then we'll use pillars down this side to make sure that everything fits in and doesn't look weird and just hanging out there with an edge, right? Yeah, and then here we'll have a slope coming down with the probably stone ceilings, you know, if I think about it. A stone ceiling is probably better for a blacksmith. And then here, I'm thinking we can build up pillars and have like an awning made of stone or something out here above things that doesn't cover the insides here. Let's go ahead and put these up so that we don't have those gaps. And we'll go like that. And then this one there. So let me go ahead and put this up here and this will tell me if I want to have a window out this side. I think we do. In fact, maybe those front two center ones there. The half wall is throwing this off. So it works here, but it doesn't work here. And I don't really think I have a way to fix that. So we're going to have to use once again, the pillars there. And do I have any wooden half also with me? No. The other option is that we go with a stone entrance in this case as well, kind of like we did over there and over here. So we basically spent the entire night going and gathering up metal and stone and stuff like that. Uh, but we have done a little bit of work and uh, you can see that we did put up those two windows, right? Or one giant window, however you want to think about it. And we put these up there as well. And so this will be the general shape of the roof here. And honestly, I would love to be able to get it to hang off like half a length of sloped, <laughs> sloped roof, but that's really, really difficult to do. And uh, with our settings on the server, it's not really something, you know, we have collisions and everything on, so it's not really something that I can make happen very easily. So I think it'll be better to stay with kind of a normal thing. This part here will come into this roof coming across. And so we'll figure all that out. There are pieces in your building for, um, your building pieces for making those types of connections if you're on the same level. And you'll notice that even though we're using a half wall, we used one up there on the things that were one tall and we used one down here and then had one things one tall. So this is all one and a half tall. And that means it's all at the same level. So we can use those pieces. And so this should be pretty easy to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have in here like a little workspace, then I'm gonna have some things on display and to make it look and feel more like a tailor shop. Maybe we'll have some plants in here as well. And then over here, you can see that we did put some stuff up 
just to complete that we did have to go out and get more stone so we'll finish putting this up here but one thing i wanted to show you was how we went about making these things so obviously this is not level ground and so let me actually grab this and i'll show you what we ended up having to do so we got to go with the foundations the stone foundations all the way through here and i believe they end maybe right here something like that but um and actually there's an easy way to tell let me pick up that stone wall yeah so you can see where they end right and then after that of course we did the trick with the ceilings and the uh pillars that everybody knows from back in the day and what i did then was i faced this of course with walls so that um it looks like it's one tall foundation i did the same here this however is all foundations this building but in order to keep it looking basically the same i took and did walls on the outside of even the places that had foundations so you can see that this is half walls right there the quarter walls i guess they actually are but half high and so underneath i put these pieces on the outside so we didn't have like a weird looking change of bricks there so it looks like there's some cohesion to the way that the uh let's go ahead and put this back in there we go to the way that the foundations of these buildings are made so a little detail like that i think goes a long way and we're going to have pillars up on these sides like i said we'll probably have pillars in each of the corners and we will use stone pillars but as you've seen in previous videos i want to get the roofs on then we'll go ahead and do the pillars so over here one of the things to keep in mind is these are all wooden foundations you know we don't have to worry about being attacked and stuff out here and it's not a pvb server so we can hello we can get away with that that was from benjamin by the way he might not like my commentary so i wanted it all the way to the wall with the wood in this central part and then to have this entrance and we'll probably have an overhang here with pillars coming down to here just to make it look a little bit more interesting but what that meant was we would have ended up with that as the outside and then the half wall of this right so the half wall that we wanted there and then it would be this on the bottom of it and so once again rather than doing that um if if you are looking i'm trying to put this here i can do it because i have something on that level but if i just try to put it on there directly i can't but once I put this there, then I can go ahead and put it in normally. So I had to go around and put all of these walls up and then go ahead and put the cladding around that to make this look like it is, in fact, uh, the same type of stone foundation that we have over there, which isn't really a stone foundation either. So just a little building trick there. And um, sometimes, once again, if you're looking at ARC in general, if you can't do what you want to do, try doing it in a different order and you might be able to get it to work for you. So what we have to do now, as you guys can see, we have Rudolph here. We have to go deforest this place. And so we're gonna go and get some thatch. And uh, I love the way these guys jump. However, he is a very slow um, swimmer. But we'll go ahead, gather this stuff up and bring you guys right back. So we have decided to make a slight change and I'll show you why. It's just we're going up another half wall on these pieces and it does make it taller. Not quite as tall as some of the other buildings around here, but um, I think it'll work out a lot better. One of the things is then we don't have and let's hope all of those are connecting properly on the outside. It looks like they are. And I don't know if I have enough things here. I probably don't, but we can make some more in just a sec. And we're out, of course, two. <laughs> uh, so it means that we won't have the 
connection here with these windows right up against where the the roof comes down. So we can go ahead and encase those in the pillars like we've done over here, which looks better. And the other thing that it will do is, if you remember when we first did this part of the tavern, this was way, way low. And so you couldn't really walk under here. And we ended up going up another half, right? So it made it two full things tall. And I think we have to do the same thing here. So if you go, that's one half plus one plus a half. So that's two tall. And that way, if we do end up having it slant off of these pieces here, like if we have it come down here, it's not going to run into the people as they try to go down this street that we're gonna have here. And the other change that we made was putting two windows over here because this is gonna be kind of the main street. And if you're going by it, you want to be able to see into the shop, into what it is, and you want it to be more interesting than just a wooden wall right there. It will make these different heights, which is a good thing. You want different levels within your builds, right? So you can see this build here has different levels. That one has different levels. Each of these are kind of going to be the same within themselves. But if we think of them as one piece, then it is uh, going to have different levels. So. That is the thinking here, and so let's go and make some more stuff. If you'll notice up here, we changed this to those little quarter ceilings. And um, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but what it did is it let us make this stick out that much. So it looks terrible right now, but work with me here for a minute. Um, this, I think I'm gonna have some type of structure coming back into here, like to buttress at certain points, kind of like we did up with those stairs. Obviously, I don't think it can be stairs. We'll have to go out more. We'll see what these rocks will allow us to do. But what we do get is the, let's eat something, the ability to have this open here and maybe it's okay that it doesn't hang all the you know down past here because that's open so we'll have to see how that looks one thing i wanted to show you is you'll see how this is in there and it's halfway between there right so that full piece straddles that corner you can't actually put down at least with our settings with the normal settings you can't put down this ceiling piece with that already there. So once again, it's order of operations. So we want to first put down the slope, which is easy enough to do. And then we can go ahead and put this little wall in there with no problem, right? So once again, that's something that's just a little building idiosyncrasy. It must detect collisions differently there. So this I think will look okay out here and we'll figure out this back piece. All right, so what we came up with was this, and it looks a little bit goofy from this side right now. So we have these upside down ramps going on to the inside with that hole in the top, and uh, this is a blacksmith. So this is a smithy, and one of the things is you want good airflow because it gets hot. And we put these beginning pillars in here. They will be around here as well. There will be a door here. And the goofiness comes because this is simply too tall for what it is. But once we put in some stuff down here, like a plant and all of that, it's going to break up that look quite a bit and it won't be as bad. So trust me on that. <laughs> I can see it in my, in my brain. So if you look in here, it comes in and um, doesn't disturb the look all that much. Right, it looks kind of structural, but it actually looks like you have a slat in here to let air move in. And if you look from over here, you can see that it looks better here. And that's simply because we don't have as much free space down here and it breaks up a little bit better. So this then is going to be the height of the pillars. 
and thus the height of the roof and that should go out one extra so now we just have to build out on here and i might have it fall off the back here and the sides i might have that be sloped roofs off of it and uh, if we go ahead and do this we should be able to lay all of those down and let's move over to pillars and see where we want that to live we might be i think this is where yeah great okay so let's run around this side and we can bring that all the way to the bottom and you know once again do your pillars as far to the end as you can and that's simply because you want to be able to make things fit all right so yeah we just crashed <laughs> and so we're back now and everybody's fine everybody calm down it's all good benjamin was a little bit irritated because uh yeah he doesn't like crashes because i drop him when we crash so if i log out right now he goes to the ground he likes being with this pack but at least he had love to take care of him where is love she's around here someplace let's see does anybody see her write in the comments if you can see love oh there she is so very very cool yeah, you see, Love is taking a good look with this as well. Maybe it will actually be... No, that doesn't make sense. I was going to say maybe we can slant off of this side, but it doesn't make sense. If it rains, you want the water going off outside of this. And so maybe we'll bring this in one more of these to provide a little bit more cover from the hot sun. And I think that... Oh, maybe it's actually going to be a half that will come in. Yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be a different size than we've used before we are working on the roof up here and it's kind of a more normal roof than this over here and looking at this one again it looks very um solid to me it looks very blocky and i don't think that's a good thing right it makes it blend into these things over here a little bit too much so I, th I have an idea to work on something over there Benjamin was giving me some advice so I think I'm gonna try something a little bit different here to create some slats within and we'll see how far we can take that but for now we kind of want to see what we can do to make this connect better so when you build things the way they want you to in ARC, you get to connect like this. <laughs> so um, you can see that those joints work pretty well. And uh, now we're just going to go and we will place this. You know what? We're going to place these down first. So there we go. And once again, one of the benefits of this type of of roof here is that these logs break up the look of this down here right so these logs break up the look of these shingles and we have that over here too so when you fly over it doesn't look just you know all uniform and everything so let's go ahead and I'm going to draw that out and this we actually don't want a solid piece we're gonna want an angle coming in like we did down here and then the trick will be to find out how we want to connect so that connects like this we're gonna want to find out how we want to connect these pieces and maybe we can just do the same thing let's go ahead and take a look and see if it actually works that and that yeah yeah okay and then this just needs to be that right and then the same over here so let's we're gonna have to make more pieces but yeah that looks pretty good i think those go together well 
and we'll have pieces coming off of the edge here so it will go over so it won't look so much like a school bus. Okay, so in the warm light of the morning sun, let's go ahead and take a look at where we are now. So as I said, I wanted to lighten up that canopy a bit. And so what I did is I redid the, pop, the top part in mainly the quarter ceilings. And then I alternated between having slats, having the normal roofs, and then having ramps. And it just gave it a little bit more um, variation so it didn't just look like a giant turtle shell and you know it these are broken up and that wasn't it just looked like the lid to like a takeout food and so um, I think that works a lot better from here and so we did that over on this side as well and it seems to work okay and maybe we'll get a better idea later on maybe we'll figure out some way to make it look like linen or something like that but it is a blacksmith so it needs to be kind of industrial looking the other thing we have accomplished is we have this roof on here so the tailor now has a roof you can see that um, we used these little joints here like we said the only part I don't like is this the way it joins I mean this actually should have been out I think like one more at least because then we could have done something interesting over here but it's going to be fine so once again the pillars i want to come from up here go all the way to the bottom and this is just to frame all those places where we don't have kind of a perfectly aligning edge right so greenhouse doesn't go against wood very well but if you do this then it looks fine right and we also want to do i think all of these little joints here because it just makes it look a little more structurally sound and give some more variation of texture so we have cooked up a bunch of stuff and gone out and got more <laughs> stone and everything uh there are some beaver dams over there so i'm probably going to go take a trip over to get some wood and I guess fight some beavers. And so I'm thinking we can start with these five guys out here. And I did space them farther apart than you need to. I just used the snap points and I think that that'll look good. Like I said, we're gonna use these for our um, crafting up charcoal and stuff. And so then I'm thinking over here, if we put yeah, that's probably right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go over just a bit more. And, well, that's a little close. We'll keep that towards the furnace. And then we'll have one of these over here as well. So I think, yeah, we want to keep the anvil close to the fire. And have the tools over here I think that'll look cool and then the other thing we want to do is place some storage boxes and then let's go ahead and turn snapping off and can I still rotate once it up it's up there yeah okay cool so if we take a look like that I mean that should look whoa <laughs> don't know my own strength I guess uh, <laughs> I guess this dude has been working on leg day, so come on, there we go. Yeah, I think that'll work from up here. So that once again is just to create the impression that somebody's actually working over here. Another thing I wanted to place here was a table so that we have a place that it looks like we are actually doing work. And maybe we'll put it there. And we can pull out this. And with these, if you notice, once the snapping is on, it will go there. But we can bring it up here simply by doing that. And let's see. I think I'm 
think that's good enough. So, you know, it can look like we're going back and forth between a couple things. Where is it going? Why? <laughs> Why? Seriously, Ark? Why are you up there? This is definitely not what we're going for. <laughs> So I think we are well and done for the time being. Let's take a look at it from the sky. You can see the two new buildings there, the tailor and the blacksmith. Um, it is a rainy day, but it's always rainy in the medieval times, right? And I think they match up well with the other two. So we'll flap around to this other side and take a look. Benjamin, I think you did a good job on driving this project. So yeah, that doesn't look as hefty as it did before. And as we come around here, I think they fit with the whole look and feel of the rest of these. So we went with this. It's it's not exactly a yellow color, but it's close. I forget what it's called. It's it's some strange <laughs> some strange name. Let me know your thoughts on this. Whether you think that's good to do, or if we need to do it a different color, maybe something brighter, maybe something a little bit more drab. Whatever you guys think, let me know. Uh, always appreciate your comments. And so, if we take a look from over here, I think that looks okay, right? So we have this little area where people are able to go and sit and everything we'll put benches and stuff like that there eventually and we'll put some decorations in the form of probably some lights or some plants and those types of things but walking up i think it looks very cohesive i i really am beginning to like this build i didn't do anything to the roof um i'm a little bit afraid to because of what it might lead to, right? So if you look, these are darker painted pieces of, of the wood, and then it's not the same up here with the brown. Is that okay? Um, you know, one thing we need to do, actually before we call this done, is I need to put some rails upside down on that. So we'll do that in just a sec. Over here, this is where we're going to plant the plants. And they will be like those over there. I think those add a lot. Uh, it's Savo root, I believe. Everything else is just too small and weird. So um, let's go ahead. And this is the way that the pathway came out. I like it. I had to do a little bit of chicanery down here with this. This isn't actually a foundation. It's two quarter ceilings because, you know, arc building mechanics it wouldn't actually place so i had to go through some different iterations to figure out how to get that down there and then if we're taking a look up here we have that same color i think that it it gives the right kind of vibe here and so then going into the blacksmith we have kite and armor in here put some of the weapons that he makes and all of that and have these boxes and tables painted up just to give a little more color to this and you can see around here it's in his same colors and then this is the armor that he's currently working on and it's stuff that i had found and had laying around so there's that and of course the world map up here and going into the tailor we ended up painting these to make them look a little bit better and we have some cloth armor out here right so i just wanted to put something a bit colorful some leather armor out here and then benches and of course the storage here the changing room we stayed with the same color theme and thought that that was something and at least it breaks it up and makes it look more interesting we put this at a uh, an angle that's his little work area and he's currently working on this stuff right here um put a painting up so thanks again, Dumps. Uh, really appreciate that art. And um, we may change this to a different piece of art in the fullness of time. But I think this really, really works. I'm, I'm happy with this build and I like the way it fills in this side of the village, right? So these two big things are really the focus. And then this gives us a place where we can walk down 
we'll go to the docks over there. There will be other things over here. And I, I like the flow. And so I'm happy about this. Uh, it was a lot of resources together, but I think it's I think it's working out. And I will go ahead and put those things on there and then we will call this done. Um, in the meantime, thank you all so much for taking the time to watch today. We really appreciate it when you hop on. Please like, subscribe, share all that YouTube stuff. Uh, Benjamin, you did an awesome job, buddy. And um, this is Darby Topknot from the Arcanart server saying bye for now. <laughs>